All right, it's uh, a lot, I don't know. It's it's day something. It's, it's painting day and uh, I got paint. I got paint, hands kind of dark. But I uh, ended up deciding that the engine was blue and I didn't want it blue so we went we went, you know, black and uh, took all the hubs off the wheels and uh, yeah, the rims, the split rims and painted them black. And so, you know, way down there, that's, that's all our parts. Everything's in parts. Uh, and we'll come over here and uh, check out the frame. There's the frame, got that painted. So that looks nice. It's uh, flat blacked, two coats of that uh, primer and the, the uh, rust converter stuff. So that's uh, four layers. And then uh, on the bottom, just the bottom frame, you know, going around anything that it's gonna have like rocks and junk kicked up around it. I'm gonna use this, uh, I don't know, just free rubberized undercoating heavy duty that's how you know it's good so we'll use that and uh, see what it does I don't know I'm probably gonna experiment on some scrap metal before I start you know just destroying the whole frame because right now it's pretty nice looking and uh, you know if I mess it up then I'll be really mad so that's the plan anyway uh, a couple more hours and then uh, it's just just up to reassembly so we'll get it done. Meet the deadline. It's gonna be awesome. All right, this is a uh, hundred or something, maybe day 100, and uh, the last day. We got uh, the paint it was drying for a few days, like four days, and uh, you know the frames over there. But uh, yeah, now we got to rebuild the engine and. You know, of course you didn't document anything, you don't really know where all these half these screws goes, but probably somewhere in there and maybe it probably won't explode when we put it all back together. So, got the recoil starter back on and it pulls and ratchets back, so that's good. And, uh, yeah, so we'll film it all back together and then, uh, oh yeah, something else that I got is, uh, because the front steering tire was actually wearing really quickly. So I picked up, you know, for like six bucks or whatever, and of course it stuck. This thing, and it's it's solid, solid rubber. It weighs like 10 pounds. And it, you know, so it, it could probably wear away for forever. And uh you know, that might be a better option. So we're gonna put that on and gonna give it a try and see if, you know, it still turns and steers and stuff or if this rubber is just way too hard. But, uh, yep. So we'll put it back together and then do another test drive with this thing. There it is. It's, uh, you know, complete. Well, except for there, right? Uh, we got everything back together. Um, we put the hard rubber tire on and actually tried to, I don't know, oh yeah, you could definitely see it. Uh, they're leaving all kinds of marks all over everything. Uh, it's basically disintegrating faster than, I don't know, icebergs or something. But, uh, yeah, I feel like in another hundred feet maybe we'll, we'll be bald and then, I don't know, after a whole day we'll be somewhere, somewhere midway on the tire there. But, uh, we'll see. We're gonna do some test driving now. But, uh, we got everything buttoned up and the zip ties and the cables and the throttle and the engine's black kind of except the gas tank and uh, everything the rims and everything so it looks pretty good it, it kind of blends in you know it's it's more of a, a chair and not so much flashy wheels and flashy engine and everything so kind of want wish the gas tank could be black but I was a little worried about the, the gas getting on it and just washing away all that black, cheap black spray paint, so, you know, I guess I could just bomb it real quick and whatever happens, happens and not really care, but, I don't know, I might do that, we'll see, but, that's it, 
And I also found that they, I forgot, I don't think I taped it, but the, the, the brakes were wearing, um, the drum was kind of, had a divot in the middle, so like this edge and this edge was raised up, so I don't think I showed that, but I actually hit this with a flap wheel, hit the drum with the flap wheel to try to even it out. And so hopefully we'll get a little bit better braking. Um, but yeah, this thing as it is probably, I don't know, what do you think, 100 pounds or 100 pounds for this whole setup? Without the person? 100 pounds for the whole setup? I'm pretty sure it's over 100 pounds. Like We're saying a 100 and like maybe some pounds. So, you know, probably exceeding whatever that little stupid break was made for. <laughs> But uh, hopefully we're you know we're not gonna go 100 miles an hour in crowds so hopefully no one will get injured. But uh, all right, we're gonna go ahead and go to the street and try and freak out some drivers. Yeah, what turn? Basically Th that turn? Yeah. Okay, stop. <laughs> I think the brakes might be worse. Really? Yeah. Um, and, and look, we're bald on one side. Bald on one side of what? Like, I hit the turn and it was like, put a lot of grip onto this end. Oh yeah, it did. And it's like, gone now. So... <laughs> Get a close up on that. <laughs> There's nothing left. Oh, wow, that tire is the worst. Highest quality. Through the chain again? Yep. Yep. Oh, time to get half link in there. All right, so here's, you know, basically what happened. The, uh, the chain as it was set up is, uh, you know, used by this connecting link or master link. Um, and that just has a keeper you know plate on the other side and then a uh, clip which we lost couldn't recover I don't know it flew into space or something when it popped off but uh, yeah what I, I think I'd mentioned before is the uh, the uh, the chain was getting slacked because uh, you know with use it kind of breaks in and it stretches a lot of people say it stretches but you know from what I've read and stuff it's like this stuff doesn't really stretch um, and more just so like, you know, wears, and as it wears, it, it kind of uh, appears to to get longer. You know, like it's stretching. But I mean, this is this is steel. It's kind of hard to stretch. But I don't know. That's kind of not the point. The point is, uh, you know, right now, with it having set up here, it's it's wobbling all over the place. But it's not quite to the point where, you know, if you break off this link, you'd be here. All right. So uh, what they have is a half link or offset link. 
so that enables us to break cut this off and then this one you know goes here like that and then the master goes through this too so you know we lose just one link otherwise if you cut that you know you always have to to connect the two thinner ones which would mean you know it'd be way too short so uh we're gonna give it a shot in worst case we got plenty of chain and stuff you just put it back together uh the way it was but i'm not liking it it's pretty loose and uh chain popped off twice today so clearly it's wearing so we're gonna give that a shot and uh i don't know if something happens i'll let you know kind of stupid scary fast when you're going straight and then you like turn a little bit and it's like 